Hey guys, I want to give a quick shout out to one of the best performers so far this season, Mr. James Proctor. James currently sits in 6th place in Disc Golf Pro Tour points, trailing only Eagle McMahon, Isaac Robinson, Kyle Klein, Gannon Burr, and Calvin Heimberg, five of the top seven or eight players in the world. James has had a really consistent season uh, with a number of top 10 finishes, one podium finish, uh, and really only two blemishes on his record out of eight events, which was tying for 32nd at Blue Ridge and tying for 36 at Champions Cup which all of the top pros have had performances like this this season outside of Calvin, who's just on a different level right now. Uh, but Eagle, 35th. Isaac, 82nd, 45th, 52nd. Kyle, 34th. Gannon, 30th, 24th. So it's not uncommon with how difficult these courses are these days that the pros have to face. And then, of course, how stiff the competition is. Uh, these performances, while they stand out as being James's worst, by today's standards are really not that bad when you compare them to really anyone but Calvin. Uh, so now looking at his stats, 47% of the time he's taking a birdie or better, 42% of the time par, and 11% of the time bogey or worse. He's had 58 OB strokes and 76 in OB rate, which is surprising when you look at fairway hits. He's fifth in fairway hits, showing he's a very accurate driver, but he has a lot of OB, and I think a lot of this would be attributed to Blue Ridge being one of his worst events. Uh, if you watch that coverage, that course was absolutely tearing people apart with the OB strokes. So I'm sure if you were to exclude that from James's stats and maybe everyone else's stats and compare it, I think James probably jumps to top 20, top 30 in OB rate at least. I think that tournament's just really bringing him down with how many OB strokes he took there. Uh, but moving on, so clearly an accurate driver, but you see part 29th, circle 1 in regulation 27th, circle 2 in regulation 21st. So pretty consistent, showing he's a top 20, top 25 thrower of the disc. Clearly accurate, uh, but maybe doesn't have the distance accuracy of some of the other top players. So he's, he's accurate, but he's not going to be parking or getting in circle 1 the rates that some of the top throwers of the disc are able to. Uh, then you look at scrambling, the other throwing metric, and it shows that he's 47th, uh, so kind of middle of the pack scrambler. Uh, so you see this fifth in birdie rate, and you might be wondering, how is he able to achieve this 47% uh, while being a top 20, top 25 thrower? And no surprise, it's his putting. Uh, James is fourth in circle 1x at 89%, just ridiculous, and equally ridiculous, is 37% circle two, which is third best. Uh, so his putting has always been great, but this year it seems like he's somehow gotten better. Uh, and those numbers just show why putting is so important. You see these players that can put it close from long distances that James wouldn't be able to hit, but James makes it up in the putting strokes, and that's how he's able to be you know, the sixth best player right now based on Disc Golf Pro Tour points, despite not having the big arm that some of the other players do that are behind him in the standings. Uh, so just that classic case of what, what is it? It's drive for show, putt for dough. I think it's very applicable for someone like James uh, who's getting it done on the putting green. And you look at the advanced putting stats, strokes gained, putting per 18, James Proctor almost two strokes, trailing only Andrew Marweed. Uh, and then all of the cir like circle one, circle two, all of these stats back up the fact that James is a top three, top four putter in the world. And you see what that does for his tournament results. It makes just a massive difference, even though he's maybe being outdriven by his competitors. Uh, TD Green, I won't run through these numbers, but they do just kind of reiterate like you just circle one, circle two, strokes gain, tee to green per 18. I guess we can look at that one. James right there, right around that 25 mark. Not surprising. Um, so all in all, it's clear. James, top three, top four putter, top 20, top 25 thrower of the disc. And it has equated to being six best in pro tour points. Uh, and not surprisingly, in ulti world's Hot and cold starts. James is one of those that is moving up 
for change in throws gained from 2022 to 2023. He has had one of the hottest starts, um, if not the hottest start when you think about what he did last year compared to this year. Last year he finished, I think, 51st in Disc Golf Pro Tour points. The year before that, I think he was 54th. And so James has never, in the six or seven years he's participated in Disc Golf Pro Tour, I don't think he's ever cracked the top 30. And so to go from 51st last season to currently sitting in six, and honestly not showing any signs of slowing down, uh, yeah, it's just a testament to whatever he did in the off season. It is working, and James right now would be my early pick for most improved player on tour. Even though he's been around for a while, I don't think it changes the fact that you know he's improving at a rate that we haven't really seen in in other players, where you see that sort of jump. Calvin, like I said, Calvin's on a different level. Calvin could easily be the most improved player, but Calvin was also a top three, top four player last year and the year before that and the year before that. So to see him become the number one player, I don't think is as shocking as what we're seeing James do so far this season, becoming really one of the standouts on tour. Uh, So just want to give a shout out to James. I feel like his name's not mentioned enough for how well he is playing probably because he hasn't picked up the win yet this season, but he has certainly been in the mix.